It was a good thing, they said. They said that I came here today. They said that I had three days in which to be seen, but the only downfall was that I came on the third day. And I tried to come earlier, I swear down, but the clinic's closed on a Thursday. Had a couple of exams on a Friday. They say, if you're serious enough, then why wait? But I weren't even stooling. I had things to do, and that's why I was so slack. Uh, hey, you can get it from the chemist now, and that's what I'd have done if I could go back. But at the time, I didn't know that. <laughs> so here I lay on this cynical day, praying that my period comes on the 24th of May. 24th of the month. My period's still not coming. It's nuts, because the feeling in my tum that I usually get just ain't here. Because when my period's due to come, you better know that it's usually made clear. But today, I may fare. I tried my best to ensure I protected my orcas. Pregnant teens are projected as whores and no way. I weren't gonna have that image. I tried to be so safe. But with me and anything I do, things don't ever just go straight. So if my pee don't come in two days, is a pregnancy test for me, mate. So obviously nothing came when them two days pass. So I went to the chemist so fast, bought around three tests and a plastic glass. Cup, I don't have good luck, so I'm at the counter just thinking I'm stuck. <laughs> like, oh, it was nuts. I just couldn't believe that a girl like me could potentially get caught up. So I'm at home, I'm reading the manual, my hand's shaking. I just can't handle the fact that two lines will mean that I'm pregnant. And if they show up, then it's bedlam. The instructions said that I had to wait a few minutes before I saw the blue signs. Looked at my phone, it was due time. What was on the test? two lines. So I picked up my phone, rang the guy. He said, what do you want to do? I said, personally, I think abortion's wrong in it, personally. He said, yeah, yeah, I hear that still, I hear that still, but like, don't you want to go uni? Don't you want a career in music? And I said, yeah, of course I do. And then he cut me off and do you know what he said? He said, how are you going to cope? How am I going to cope? <laughs> So I got on the bus, I uh, had a consultation booked, ain't gonna lie, the conversation shook me up to the point where I just wanted to get rid. I can't raise no kid, I'm a kid myself, I won't kid myself, I'd have a lot of support, but you know I won't bid for help, because being pregnant is something that I did myself with the help of a guy, he won't help, he implied, so a stable life for my child has already been denied. And just when I thought I'd been through the worst of things, the nurse said, Isabel, you would have been having twins.